Welcome back to my YouTube channel, everyone. This is Pastor Frank DeMora. Today is October the 3rd of 2018. This is where I connect the dots between Bible prophecy and current events, showing us that the warnings that Jesus Christ gave to us for the last days are actually coming to pass right now. And we're in the midst of the birth pangs that Jesus talked about in the New Testament. The closer we get to the return of the Lord Jesus Christ, the more chaotic our world will become. If you live here in the United States, you're seeing the different government parties, Democrats and Republicans, clashing. But it's not just the Democrats and the Republicans who are in office in Washington, D.C. It has taken a huge effect on the majority of the population in one way or another. And we're beginning to see signs that our population is willing to turn violent to do anything to stay in power. If you're expecting things to get better, you better read the book of Revelation where Jesus shows us what's going to happen in the last days because things will not get better. They're just going to get worse. I wish I can give you good news which I can, and I'll explain in a second. But we know from the writings of the Lord Jesus Christ that the last days are going to be horrific, times that we have never seen before, nor will this world ever see again when it's over. However, there is good news, as I mentioned. That good news is Jesus Christ came here, he lived for us, and he died for us. And through his death, he has offered anybody that wants it salvation through his blood. In other words, anyone who receives the message of salvation through Jesus Christ, they would have their name written in the book of life. And no matter when an individual would die, whether it be natural causes, whether it be in an accident or major disasters, whatever the time was when that person was to leave this world and go on to the next, the person who had received Jesus Christ, that person would go into the kingdom of God with Jesus Christ for an eternity. The people who reject the message of Jesus Christ, and there are going to be a lot of those people, unfortunately, they will have no place in the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ and our God. Those people, we know, according to the word, will be subject to an eternity in hell, where the Lord describes what that's going to be like, like wailing and gnashing of teeth in the lake of fire, that once you're there, you can never get out. And this and this is why I give all of the information that I can possibly give to show the people that please pay attention to what's going on. If you don't know the Bible, you better start understanding what the Bible tells us about the last days and about Jesus Christ. Now with that, one of the prophecies that I have been showing that Jesus Christ told us to keep an eye on happens to be about the huge storms that would be coming in the last days. And this is what I'm going to be taking a look at right now. Now keep in mind, this prophecy would also be taking place at the same time that everything else that Jesus warned about in, for example, Matthew chapter 24 would be happening at the same time. That is happening now. Luke 21, 25 is a prophecy about these huge storms. So much so that we know that the nations would be perplexed. Huge problems, problems arising from these storms. And we see there also the sea and the waves roaring. Now the winds push these massive storms, causing so many problems for so many countries devastating areas that it hits and this is exactly what we have been seeing and now we're starting to see those birth pains escalate bigger storms more of these bigger storms happening at the same time causing these complex problems that these storms are rolling over now just recently I showed you for example on August the 23rd the article that came out about Hawaii's hurricanes they were rare, and they're getting less rare as time goes on. And this goes hand-in-hand hand with the last day's birth bank signs. 
And then again, just recently, you saw what Hurricane Florence did. That hurricane was a Category 4, slammed into the East Coast, devastating a lot of the property, killing millions of chickens and, and pigs, and destroying much of the crops there on the East Coast. And people are still digging out of the mess that Florence has created, those complex problems that Jesus warned us about. These unusual large storms coming back to back at the same time. As I said, it's happening more frequently now, and it does go hand in hand with the birth pangs. This article from the Washington Post, yesterday, two monster tropical cyclones are raging in the Pacific Ocean. And you can see what these storms look like. They're huge. For the first time in more than a decade, Earth fueled two Category 5 equivalent storms early Tuesday. These two behemoths are located on opposite sides of the Pacific Ocean Basin. Hurricane Wallaka in the northeast and Super Typhoon Kong Ray to the west. Early Tuesday, both tempests pack winds over 157 miles per hour, becoming the first duo to archive Category 5 winds simultaneously since 2005. And this is what these two storms look like as they move in the Pacific. And in this article, as you scroll down, you'll see the, the writing that actually points to the birth pang signs. Look what it says. It has been an exceptionally active year for storms in the Northeast Pacific Ocean. Nine major hurricanes rated category three or higher have formed, tied for the most on record. The ocean basin has racked up more than double the amount of accumulated cyclone energy it would normally see by this time of year. Now, for whatever reason, people talk about global warming, whatever the reason is, the storms are here. They're coming back to back. They're getting bigger and they're causing more damage damage that is causing major problems, complex problems for nations that it's hitting. And let us not forget, this is happening. This sign is taking place when all of the other signs are also taking place at the same time. This has not happened in a generation before us. Now, you may think that there is no God. You may think that Jesus Christ never came and he's just a figment of somebody's imagination like the devil wants you to believe. But the fact of the matter is, if you look at what Jesus stated about these last days, you'll see the evidence of it on the news just about every single night in one way or the other. Now I keep telling you about the Lord's warning that in the last days, we're going to see all these things taking place at the same time. Now, the waves roaring and causing these complex problems just doesn't have to do with the storms because we have seen a lot of disasters coming from the raging seas as a result of major earthquakes. You can have these massive waves rushing in on land and destroying much of the property and killing off people left and right because of earthquakes. And Jesus told us in Luke 21, 11, this would be one of those many signs of the last days. And he says, And great earthquakes shall be in divers places, and famines and pestilence and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. So the sign of great earthquakes side by side, for example, with these massive storms that are coming. Now just recently you see September the 30th of 2018, thousands feared dead in Indonesian tsunami. You can see the picture of the mass destruction from this huge set of waves that came from, from the 7.4 magnitude earthquake. In the recent news that came out was 1,400 people had died in this tsunami and 800 people were wounded from this, generated by a massive earthquake. So you have two of the signs that the Lord said would be happening in the last days combined together, but that's not all. We see all the other signs taking place all at the same time. Take heed to the words of Jesus Christ about the seas and the waves roaring 
causing these major problems, these complex problems. For the people of Indonesia, when they saw these massive waves coming, I'm wondering how many of those people did not know the Lord Jesus Christ. And that day that those waves rolled in, their souls would be required. And these waves are going to pale compared to what is coming during the tribulation period. This is only the birth pang signs. But during the tribulation period, these waves that we're seeing now in the news will be small compared to what is coming. Get ready, people. Get ready to meet Jesus Christ because he's definitely given the warnings and we've seen those warnings and we're getting that much closer to the second coming of Jesus Christ. I've been trying to get the people prepared for what is coming. As a matter of fact, you'll see on September 10th there at my YouTube channel and at my website, I made a video among many videos telling the people that these great earthquakes were coming. And as they gave the warning each day, within the next couple of days, there were other great earthquakes that appeared. I believe my first warning came on the 7th of September when there was a 6.2 earthquake. These quakes are listed in my book, by the way. You'll see the list of them, 61, 6-5, 6-9, 6-9, 6-3, 6-3, 6-5. This tsunami that hit 7-5 and 6-6. Six, six. Look how close they are. And there's going to be a lot more, and they're going to get bigger. Whether you like it or not, you're living in the generation Jesus Christ warned about. And the major sign that everybody should know that shows us that we are in that generation is the nation of Israel being born again, which happened May 14, 1948. Without the nation of Israel being born again, as we see in prophecy, this generation could not say we are in the last days. We're not even in the birth pains. But because the nation of Israel did get born on May 14, 1948, it fulfilled that prophecy that Jesus shows us, this generation shall not pass till all these things take place. Please, now is the time to receive the free gift of salvation from our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't wait, because you don't know what kind of tsunami is coming in your life. This is Frank DeMora with the End Times Research Ministry.